Hi guys, in today's video we will look at the types of neurons you can get um, and their structure, then we'll talk about myelination and finish with an exam style question. So the three main types of neurons that you'll find in the nervous system are motor neurons, sensory neurons and relay neurons. Um, now these all have the same sort of basic function of carrying an electrical impulse from one part of the body to another, but they uh, do them they they do them for different parts of bodies so uh, we'll start with the motor neurons so these carry impulses from the central nervous system or cns to effector tissues these might be muscles they might be glands um it depends on the particular pathway sensory neurons carry uh, electrical impulses from sensory receptors to the central nervous system now relay neurons um essentially connect sensory to motor neurons um, usually in the central nervous system that's where you'll find them at least at a level the most um, especially in reflex arcs which basically bypass the brain it's just where um, so reflexes are where sensory inputs or stimuli um, directly affect um, an action so let's talk a little bit about the structure of neurons they're usually very long. So um, some neurons go from the tip of your finger to your spinal cord. They can be up to a meter in length. Um, they also contain many, many ion channels in their plasma membranes. And these ion channels are said to be gated um, and can conduct uh, currents carried by sodium ions, potassium ions, or calcium ions. And the reason they're called gated um, ion channels is because they're not uh, necessarily open immediately or all the time. Something needs to happen to those ion channels in order for them to open. That can either be, as we saw in the previous video, um, a stimulus causing a gated sodium channel to open, or as we'll see in the next video, uh, voltage gated uh, sodium potassium channels can also be used as well so those respond to changes in voltage as opposed to things like mechanical stimuli like the Pacinian corpuscle in the previous video or for example uh, chemical stimuli in taste bud uh, receptors now uh, membranes of uh, neurons also contain sodium potassium pumps um, and these are active pumps so they actually require um, ATP. Hey guys, to continue watching this video completely free and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific A-level biology videos, just click the button. Join me today and together let's make A-level biology a walk in the park.